The sea is calm tonight. The tide is full. The moon lies fair. Upon the straits, on the French coast, the light gleams and is gone. The cliffs of England stand, glimmering and vast, out in the tranquil bay. Come to the window, sweet as the night air, only from the long line of spray where the sea meets the moon, blanched land. Listen, you hear the grating roar of pebbles with which the waves draw back and fling. At the return, up the high strand, begin and cease, and then again begin, with tremulous cadence slow, and bring the eternal note of sadness in. Sophocles long ago heard it on the Egan, and it brought into his mind the turbid ebb and flow of human misery. We find also in the sound a thought, hearing it by this distant northern sea. The sea of faith was once too at the full and round earth's shore, lay like the folds of a bright girdle furled, but now I only hear its melancholy long withdrawing roar. Retreating to the breath of the night wind down the vast edges drear and naked shingles of the world. Ah, love, let us be true to one another, for the world which seems to lie before us lie like a land of dreams, so various, so beautiful, so new, hath really neither joy, nor love, nor light, nor certitude, nor peace, nor help for pain, and we are here as on a darkling plain, swept with confused alarms of struggle and flight, where ignorant armies clash by night. Okay, so for this poem, Dover Beach by Matthew Arnold, we're going to annotate and analyze the poem using soapstone, and in case any of you forgot, it's um, the S is for speaker, O is for occasion, A is for audience, P is for purpose, S is for subject, and then tone. Okay, so first of all, the speaker isn't clearly stated within the poem, so it's just kind of implicit that the speaker is the author. Um, then for the occasion, he is looking out of his window um, and says, come to the window, sweet as the night air. Listen, you'll hear the great grating roar of pebbles which the waves draw back, etc. And he is telling his love about uh about this whole about this sea and this and everything that he's seeing and because it says all oh, love let us be true to one another so that's who he's speaking to that's the audience is his love or yes his love sorry then the purpose the purpose is to kind of convey this idea of of um that emotion and sadness is like waves so here it says you're the grating roar of pebbles which the waves draw back and fling at their return up the high strand begin and cease and then begin again with tremulous cadence slow and bring the eternal note of sadness in so the waves are coming in and out like sadness and it says that sophocles heard it on the eagle Egan and it brought to his mind the turbid ebb and flow of human misery um and then it also says here that he uh the sea of faith uh was once full and round earth's shore and would lay like the folds folds of a bright girdle furled and then he says now i only hear its melancholy long withdrawing roar retreating to the breath of the night wind so this is like the waves are like the sadness and the melancholy um vibe and vibe and wave so and then also it says that love let us be true to one another for the world which seems to lie before us like a land of dreams so various so beautiful so new has no joy love or light it doesn't have peace or help for pain and they're here on a darkling plain, swept with confused alarms of struggle and flight, where ignorant armies clash by night. So he's basically saying, love, like, let us let us stay faithful to, another, to one another. Let us be, let us continue to be happy and to love each other in this world of darkness and sadness and melancholy. Or melancholy. And um, that lacks peace, that lacks, you know, um lacks assistant like help where it says help for pain um they he's kind of saying like let us be there for one another because the world can't can't um help us and cannot soothe our soothe our ailments and can't help our pain and our sadness so let us love each other so that we we won't be sad um 
and that is also kind of the subject is what I said right there is basically the subject the subject is the just that just about sadness and that it comes and it goes and it comes and it goes and, and it's in a constant cycle like the waves and the tide flowing in and out of the shore um and that he's saying or the subject is like love is to use love to kind of counteract this ebb and flow of sadness and misery and the tones um there were a few shifts so for the first one i put calm and pensive but also excited and intrigued um because he says listen come to the window so sweet is the night air and then for this one i put nostalgic and reminiscent because it mentions the history of um soft goals and the Agen, how he heard it on the Agen Sea, which is uh, ancient in Sophocles, of course, like I said before, is an ancient Greek tragedy playwright. Um, then this one is a little bit, this stanza is a little bit wistful and somber, talking about how the Sea of Faith used to be uh, bright and full, and but now he only hears Malay. Um, melancholy long with drawing wars in the waves um and this last one is just kind of a plea and kind of a negative take on how the world works and how uh it's so various and so beautiful and so new and this kind of tone is also a little bit amb amb ambivalent because um it says how, like I said, how the world is so various, so beautiful, and so new, but it doesn't have joy, love, or light, or peace, or any help for pain. So it's kind of ambivalent, shows very various emotions towards the world and what it is to him.